Last time. Ren? I'm fine. Here we go. As we make our way to the place marked in red, there were buildings on every corner. It was an extravagant bunch of single houses lined up against each other, but there seemed to be ranks between them, as our house was a small two-story building. They all looked the same on the outside, but the inside was kind of old-fashioned. On the door was a plate with the name Glitter written on it. All the buildings have plates with different names on them, so this must be this building's name. There's a confirmation monitor by the door. I put my coil up to it and the lock opens. Heh. I was a little astonished when I turned the doorknob and went in. The inside is much more retro than I had imagined. All of the furniture looks classic. Almost all of it is wooden. A complete gap between here and the white world outside. I see a staircase further in up to the second floor and go up it. The first thing I see upon reaching the second floor is something that looks like a living room. The side of it is a small bar counter. Next to it is a long hallway lined with doors. I check out one of the rooms. The room is small and minimalistic with a refined feeling. Well then, I have to examine Ren. I don't know who the fuck I'm talking to right now. I sit down on the bed and take Ren out of my bag. I place him on my lap and open the control panel on my coil. Hey, you folks want to hear something funny? This was something Steven noticed a while ago. Ren has five legs, apparently. <laughs> anyway, with this, I can check for any sort of abnormalities. Let's see... I look for any indication from the numerical data on the control panel screen. Hmm, there doesn't seem to be anything wrong based on these numbers. There don't seem to be any issues, but do you still feel weird? Yes. I can't exactly explain it, but I feel uneasy. I wonder where it's coming from. I guess it's inside. Ren's breathing is back to normal compared to before, but I can't let him go just yet. Hmm. I push through his fluffy fur, searching all over his body. Ren shakes a little like it's ticklish. Are robots ticklish? Allmates? Hmm. Nothing wrong on the outside. Shit. I need to be more careful. But your speed in giving instructions has improved from before. I guess it's because I've done rhyme before. It doesn't feel real, but... Maybe my intuition came back or something. But still, that field was strange. Maybe because it was a drive-by? Or maybe because it wasn't mainstream? Alba. Hmm? Please stop that. What is it? Is something wrong? I stop touching Ren and look at him. He licks his nose as if he wants to tell me something. No, it's... What's wrong? Why don't you just tell me? I don't understand it too well, but... I have this unexplainable, peculiar feeling. I see. I guess I won't be able to understand unless I go all the way and open you up. Does it feel like it'll be difficult to get by from day to day? Not exactly. Then, I guess we'll wait and see. If it ever feels like you can't take it anymore, you better say so right away. Understood. I close the control panel, pick up Ren, and look into his eyes. His moist, black eyes look back at me. Oh. Uh. I feel sorry, I feel lonely? I... Well, what does he have to feel sorry about? Sorry that he can't fix Ren? Okay, I guess that one makes sense. He wants to help him. I feel lonely? Well, Ren's like right there, why, why are you lonely? I'm not... This one makes the least sense, I think. Maybe. I feel sorry? I'm sorry. Why are you apologizing? No, well, you're my important partner. I wasn't paying enough attention. And it was my responsibility to... It's not really your fault. I'm awful. Lately, I... Somehow I've come to dislike myself because of all this. <laughs> Just kidding. My mood sinking, I take Ren and place him to my forehead, and something pushes on my cheek. It's Ren's paw, rejecting me. Ren places both of his tiny paws on my forehead and gently pushes me away. What is it? No. Ren doesn't lower his paws. What's wrong? He's never done anything like this before. 
I moved the oddly acting Ren away from my face, his eyes looking into mine. Really, what's going on? Is it because of the damage you received from Rhyme? That may be the reason. Really? But you're acting kind of strange, you know? I just feel a little out of it, that's all. I'm alright. Ren gives me a vague response, trying to dodge the question. This is the first time he's ever tried to avoid talking about anything. Is it because he's turning into a real dog? So that's why he was ticklish? I'm sorry if I'm worrying you. Please don't think about it too much. Even if you say that, you're acting weird. I think I'll look for a parts shop around here. I don't know if there are any, though. You really don't need to worry that much. If you can't function anymore after this, it'll be bad, won't it? You have to treat it like a disease. Okay? I said that in a steadfast tone and ruffle Ren's fur. Aw, you fluffy puppy. Please don't play around. Oh, he's like a rat. Oh, oh, oh. It's not that he's ticklish. He's into it. Oh, okay. He's like, Alba's hands are all up on him, and he's like, oh, 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 god. <laughs> Poor Ren. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Even as I pretend to joke around, the shock still didn't fade. For Ren to push my forehead away like that. I honestly never saw it coming, but I guess it's because something must be really wrong with them. Is it really okay? Unable to shake the uneasiness from my heart, I put Ren in my bag and turn toward the entryway. I check outside and see people walking up and down the streets with smiles on their faces. The sight of it was eerie, in a way. I guess the management of the streets are well run. It's like a scripted display of a movie or a drama act. I think that this place is gorgeous, but the passerbys don't pay much attention to it. Well, I'll go look for an open parts shop around here. I open the map attachment and head towards the shopping mall. I pass by the numbers of other stores and come to a stop at the one I'm looking for. In the display window are neatly groomed dog-type allmates. I bet I'll find parts here. I guess I'll go inside. I timidly open the door when I walk into the high-class shop. Amazing! The inside is wide and clean, with not a single piece of trash on the floor. Kind of like an Apple store, almost. That's what it reminds me of, anyway. Lots of expensive shit. <laughs> All mates are lined up along the wall in glass cases, and quiet music is played throughout the store. Next to the All mates are toys, accessories, and even clothes. Hey Ren, look at that! Ren sticks his head out of the bag. Don't you think these allmates are all pretty and punctual compared to the ones back in the old resident district? Surely. I can't deny that. Right? I'm thinking the joke there was like, Hey, they're real... They're real rich and shiny looking. Yeah. That's my guess. There are customers inside, all carefree, looking into cases with just nothing but pictures inside. As I look around the shop, I go to a section that has both custom parts and ones for maintenance. At just a glance, it doesn't seem like there are that many different parts here. It looks like there are only control panels and services for the new Allmate types. And I probably can't request anything. Hmm. None of this will work. I think of asking an employee, but it's difficult enough to call out to another customer for me. I look around the store interior thinking of what to do, and a digital poster catches my eye. Putnam Jail Special Commemoration Event. Opening soon? The date for it scrolled down in a large font. It's another two days until it opens, and there aren't any specifics on the poster. Platinum Jail Special Commemoration Event. I wonder what's going on there. I'm a little interested, so I go and ask the customer next to me. Uh, excuse me? Yes? About the Platinum Jail Commemoration Event, do you know what's going on there? I haven't said yet, but it looks like that day is going to be a fun one. It's bound to be an absolutely fabulous event. You know, the usual parades are really like a dream. <laughs> I wonder if Toei-san is going to show up. If he does, he'll be absolutely fantastic. He can do anything and everything flawlessly. He's so amazing. I see. Thank you. I slightly bow my head and leave. So not even the guests know what's going on at that event. 
Well, they did say that Toei might be there. Even if he does show up, there's no way I could even get close to him.